Okay, so I have... I'll do it. Okay. I have Jesse Ventura being interviewed by Andrew Yang. Hey, guys. It's the collaboration nobody wanted. <laughs> nobody asked for it, but we're getting it. Guess what? I just was about to say why. Oh, well. I don't know if you know this, but Andrew Yang has a podcast called Forward. So how did you come to this conclusion that these two parties are not actually trying to work in the people's interest? When did that click for you? It well, clicked. when I said the oh vaccine was amazing. Lying here in my bed. Right? Taking the vaccine. Dude, he's starting to look like him. Yeah, he's starting to look like Steve Winklebaum. He looks rough. I am a mutant now. Tales Looks of... like he's about to make a pun about a werewolf and introduce a fucking kitschy horror film. I was going to say Tales from the Crypt Virgin, I swear to God. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> this next one will take your breath away. <laughs> For me, over something very simplistic, Andrew. The f I love the vaccine now. <laughs> fact that they have I've got 12 boosters. <laughs> All the shaking stopped. Entire political system based upon the concept of bribery. The only way you're going to get an audience is by becoming a fake governor and then getting a Discovery Channel TV show where you expose conspiracy theorists. One of them being you are, you've been a rampant anti-vaxxer and then saying that you took it because you had to. A show, that, any a show where it's clear Alex Jones pretty much did all of the homework. Yeah. <clears throat> the official of a Democrat or Republican persuasion is bring a check. How about this? Yang Ventura, 2024. No, thanks. Okay. You know, don't bring your problem. Bring a check. Dude. I'm really glad that he wore his best, uh, his best tank top for the interview. <laughs> Seriously, like no. Just... Look, man, we don't dress up, but at least Throw we have sleeves on. on. Okay. <laughs> With your problem. And then you'll at least get your audience. See, they've turned our system into a complete system of bribery. And what's weird about that is that if you do that in the private Although sector... Although Pfizer doesn't bribe anybody. <laughs> They're completely on the level. Everyone else is bribing people. Right? Fucking asshole. <laughs> you go to jail. Where's your feather boa? <laughs> jail. Oh god, this is the intro to a stupid podcast. Is why he don't playing you just... Ching Chong music? <laughs> yeah, I know. He's playing Ching Chong music. Why, why don't you just call it free money with fucking with Andrew Yang? It's Ching Chong music. I feel like I'm in the Japan pavilion in Epcot. Right? Yeah. <laughs> This, intro's this intro is too long, right? Yeah. I know we have a long intro, but at least it says words. It is my pleasure. I'm going to say honor. My honor and privilege to welcome. This guy thought he was going to be president. Yeah. And then he thought he was going to be mayor of New York. They'll punch him in New York. He can't be mayor there. Word. Perhaps the greatest independent politician. Think about it, though. To be the only mayor in history that could actually, like, grab an uber eats bicycle yeah it's a good point and just ride around and blend in with the fucking <laughs> citizens good point. though he calls himself a statesman i think that's accurate so the independent statesman of our time honestly former... this guy brought you food would you even notice no i really wouldn't know his injury right? i swear to god i'm not even trying to be right <laughs> I, i'm not even saying it as a joke i'd be like even with, with that hat on he looks even the hat of a new of a of a chinese food delivery it's guy just what he looks like this yeah. I wouldn't I there'd be no oh my god, are you Andrew Yang? Yeah. I would just Oh thank you. You go keep the change. That in a big I didn't know way. Andrew so until y'all told me. <laughs> <laughs> Personal note, you just got a new car, is that right? What? Yeah, I, I'm in a great mood. I uh I got a my new car was just delivered new to me car. on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's a brand new Tesla. I knew that was coming. 
Of course it's going to be a Tesla. He loves Tesla. I thought you live in like the Mexican desert where you're going to get a Tesla <laughs> charging station. <laughs> he plugs it into the little to the little shack next to his house. Yeah. Run off a diesel fuel that he has to get brought in every day. Are you going to stop at the Sinaloa Wawa? <laughs> <laughs> Is there charging their Tesla charging yeah, stations? Seriously. And uh, I'm 70 years old now, and I can proudly... You look way older. Yeah, I mean... Wow, you age very poorly. ...say I own the fastest car currently on the planet. I'll tell you why. I, I drive. I don't drive Really? Fast. You own a Ferrari? No, the Tesla's the fastest car now. Is it really? 060, yeah. Because there's no engine. It's immediate acceleration. Things are at a 60 and 2.1 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but they suck. I'm not saying they still suck or suck. I'm saying I guess I'm just an old Jeremy Clarkson. Theorist. Yeah, I agree. I want to hear the car the more. I, and I'm probably I won't even probably break the speed limit that much with this car. But I will admit to one thing. I'm a person who occasionally needs an adrenaline rush. That's why I took the vaccine. I mean, it's we all know that feeling that you occasionally I got to have that. You know, I had 34 parachute jumps. Oh, Royce. Uh, I know. He was a I don't frogman, know if you know which this. became the Navy SEALs. I know. I know. I know. Okay. I've done a lot of things in my life that give me that type of adrenaline rush, and the Tesla can do that. And I Is this... I'm sorry. I have a question. Is this sponsored by Tesla? I'm trying to understand... Brought to you by the, Tesla. I'm skipping ahead a little bit. To join the Screen Actors Guild, I now had a union. So when I then came back to Vince, I said to him during the negotiations, I said, well, Vince, I said, you don't have to worry about me yelling about the union no more. He said, oh, really? Why not? I said, I got mine. I said, if the rest of these guys are too chicken shit or don't want to put it up to stand up for it, I'm not going to get my head cut off no more. I got my union. I'm a member of the Screen Actors Guild and will be till I retire and I get health benefits from them, everything. Wow, unions are so good. Brought to you by Tesla, where we don't want to have a union. <laughs> Thank you. That is 100% true. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't even think about Brought that. Brought to you you're... by Tesla, where Elon won't even let you say the word union. Everything that you won't provide. He won't even let do. you watch old WWE uh, Attitude Era segments that had the union in it. He doesn't even let you read about the Civil War. Nope. So you don't have to worry. I'm not going to do that. Well, later on when I sued Vince for royalties and beat him, during the depositions, I told my attorneys, because you can ask about anything in a deposition. I said, I told them the whole story and I had great attorneys. I said, if you can find out, please find out who ratted me. Who was the guy who of, of the wrestlers ratted me out that day that I stood up and tried to unionize or offered them the ability to balls it out and see if we could do it. Yep. So during the deposition, my attorney goes, well, Mr. McMahon, he goes, uh, other sports have unions. He goes, is there, is there a union in wrestling? And Vince, of course, answers no, under oath. Uh, my attorney goes, well, has anyone ever tried to form a union in wrestling? And Vince sat a moment and paused, and he goes, well, yeah. He said, I think, and he pointed to me across the table, I think, uh, yeah, I think Jesse Ventura spouted his mouth off about it once or whatever. I rem seem to remember that. And my attorney God, said, well, did way. you hear Mr. We know it was Ventura? all Colgan. We know. Oh, my God. Uh, Sixth largest city. Sixth largest city. And then you run for governor and win against Chuck all Norris odds. Chuck Norris Gun Club. Coming. Chuck Norris Gun Club. I have no idea if this is true, but it's still funny to hear. Randy Macho Man Savage smacked him in the mouth, called him a commie faggot. God, I hope that's true. I doubt it, but God damn, I want so bad. nothing I want more than for that to be true. Republican <laughs> Party and the vast majority of Democrats are just painting all Republicans with a certain brush. Um, maybe they're they're saying like, hey, um, you know, yeah, good for them. But no one's really doing anything to try. Jesse has the white stuff in the corner of his mouth. Yeah, he's a mess. Jesse, you used to think the Jews controlled the weather with heart machines. Can you fucking stop being Mr. Union Tesla guy now? Shut the fuck up. I and preserve, Wait let's minute, say, in this case. 
I didn't say he was wrong. I just said that's what he believed. <laughs> I'd like to know if Pfizer has a has a union. <laughs> Brought to you by Pfizer. Yeah. I would really love to know if Pfizer gave him money or or T money or something, because. The the 180 on that was was shocking. Shot because he was really he used to get so much shit for his anti-vax stuff. You see, and the rest of it. Um, so the Republican Party is getting overrun, and the very few figures. Another guy who stood up and and voted to impeach Trump, who's also up for re-election, who has better chances. Uh, Peter Meyer uh, in in Michigan. So this is just we. It's you. You want neocons? Everybody that was mm -hmm. like Yang is actually reasonable. Yang is, Yang is a fucking communist. I don't okay? mind Republicans as long as they vote like Democrats. As long as they're you know, as long as they voted to impeach Trump. I'm Liz yeah. Cheney is a great Republican Ugh. who could win. Fuck it! Look at him. He looks like he's in the Sandlot. He looks like a, a, a diverse remake of the Sandlot. He'd be Ching Chong Charlie or some shit. You know, fucking whatever kids would call them, you know? And, you know, like, they're they're demonstrating courage on a level that I don't think most people appreciate. Um, and Yeah, it's really courageous to side with the party that fucking wins all the time and that has people arrested. Ooh, they're so courageous to have a fucking a, a golden parachute to work at CNN or MSNBC. Ooh, the courage it takes to stand up to Trump, somebody that was universally loved, apparently in their heads. <laughs> fucking assholes. You guys fucking suck. Democrats are not helping them because of just this bizarre polarization in the system where they look at it and be it's like, so eh. bizarre. Where did it come from? Nobody knows. No, nobody knows. That's the scary part is that it could be any one of us. <laughs> Somebody put him in the hot dog. I want him in the hot dog. We're all trying to figure <laughs> out the guy who did this. Who could it be now? Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> But it's like you do you create the problem, and then yeah. you're like, man, this is a problem. Somebody said that Andrew Yang was awesome in the Goonies. <laughs> He's data, Mister Jones. <laughs> <laughs> that kid had a good little run. Yeah, he actually just came, after years, he just did a couple movies as a kid. He came back and was in, in that new movie, Everything, Everywhere, All the Time. And it's funny because he's an adult man, but he still talks the same way, and it was freaking me out. You know, like all Republicans are bad, even the ones that in this case are trying to fight to preserve uh, democracy in the face of Trump. Oh, who, I like, think so. like Dan Crenshaw and Lindsey Graham. Heroes. Heroes. If it was up to Yang, he'd give universal basic income to Ukraine, too, from our fucking money while well, he's at it. The, the most dangerous thing we have right now, Andrew. The vaccine. <laughs> is, not the, is not the Republicans in Congress. I believe right now the most dangerous thing we have is that for sure we have two dishonorable liars on the Supreme Court. Yeah. Uh, that, that, I mean, the, the entire country has been uh, very, very inflamed over the recent decision, which I disagree well, with. Well, no, the liars, and not even the and decision. The fact, and the fact that they, they lied about they what lied. they do on the way in. Andrew, let me put it to you this way. You're a private sector guy. You have been pretty much your whole life. If you go in with a job application, and on that job application, most of them ask... The he didn't lie, you old fucking Tales of the Crypt fuck. What they said, what they always say, they, they never, either side, left or right, whenever they ask him about a certain decision, whether it be guns, or whether it be fucking, or whether it be fucking abortion, Roe v. Wade, they always go... I'm not going to talk about something, a case that's already been settled. That does not mean if a new thing comes up or forget a new thing or if they re-examine an old one, they're allowed to do that. You go fuck yourself because they'll, they'll, they change precedent. So you know what? That separate but equal was a Supreme Court decision that was fine. And then but Brown versus the Board of Education fucking changed that. And they changed it because fuck these people. God damn it. Yeah, isn't that why you always talk about our gun rights and say, hey, they're amendments. They're meant to be amended. Fucking Sometimes you got to go back in and amend stuff. Women could vote now, unfortunately. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Does he ever address the fucking vax? Probably not. I'm. Hold on. How to build the third party. System of bribery. Winning as an independent. 
Thaney's showed a, a lot of uh, courage and patriotism. And she may lose. And right now she's. No, 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 uh, no. Liz Cheney's not going to may lose. Liz Cheney is losing. There's, there's no way. There's no way Liz Cheney's fucking winning. Stop. Fucking stop. Pretty significant underdog um, in her reelection campaign. I've been tracking the trajectories of the Republicans who voted either to impeach Trump uh, or to oppose in some way. And what a weird. What a weird thing for this little fucking creepy dude to track, right? Yeah, and of all the things, I know I only want the ones that want to impeach. Well, who cares? It's really, really dark, man. So I know. It's uh, I think there were ten. Oh, it's really dark because all of them that voted to impeach Trump are going to lose because everybody knows it's a fucking ruse. By the way, we're not even defending. We get shit now for shitting on Trump, but fuck you. That is bullshit.